Hello, hello, hello. It's uh, Linda Babulek, and I am here. Okay, you've likely started. Okay. Hey, I'm just starting, so you are not late following me. I'm so glad you're here. Today's topic we are talking about chakras and it from my book based on my book the teachings that i'm offering you from now to the end of 2021 are encoded in my book and i've done a series of scheduled a series of talks this week i'm so excited i can barely speak so my intent with doing this series is to be of service in love and beauty. My intent is also to be um, engaging with you and to have you learn a little bit about the shamanic wisdom that I encode into everything I write, everything that I do. Uh, I really changed uh, my life when I learned about how to use the energy inside of me. And a big piece of that are chakras. As I mentioned yesterday, it's energy. And if you haven't watched the video that I did last week introducing this and the video I did yesterday about energy, they're cumulative. So I suggest you go back and watch those videos in order. And they are in order on my YouTube channel. It's the same thing in this book. When you start to read it, it accumulates so that by the time you get to part four, you have learned the pieces you need to learn coming all the way along. You don't want to just jump in at part four because there's language being used that you had not been introduced to. So that's my intent is to create some spark and some interest. Now we are going to be talking about intent. Everything I do has an intent. I have an intent at the top of each one of my days. Now, what are the benefits of you learning this? Just like learning about the energy, this can feed your bottom line. When you can read people better, connect with people better, have that spark of energy between you, your bottom line is going to show it. You're going to have a better business, better relationships, and a better life. And that's what I think we're here for. So the chakras are on page 150 in my book. And interestingly enough, when it hit number one on the international best-selling list, I called my publisher and I said, really? I'm number 11 on religion chakras? He said, I don't know how that works, but there it was. It was picked up by Amazon. So chakras is the Sanskrit word meaning wheel or vortex. And chakras are these spiraling pools of rotating vibra vibrating energy in our bodies. And although it's not part of the physical body, they have a powerful influence on vitality, well-being, and life force. So I'm introducing these to you because they offer one more way to understand the energy in our bodies and so the energy in our mind. That's very important. I'm going to do, I'm going to make a note here to do a part two on, on um, chakras because we're not going to talk about spin today. There's more to it. There's always layers and layers of this. This is a really basic introduction. So the chakras energies goes through the entire body and they're each associated with a color, an element, and a presence. And they rotate at increasing speeds. The first chakra being the lowest speed and the seventh being the fastest. So it's fun to imagine the chakra's location and the color and at the same time as the rainbow or the element and to explore how it feels to associate with that. So I'm going to walk you through each one of them 
and the illustration that I put on um, the advertising piece, the announcement that we're doing chakras, you will see that the red chakra is located in the bottom. You're sitting on it right now. It's called your root chakra. And when you want to connect to this energy, when you feel you're all in your head, you want to connect to this energy to just ground you. And you can shoot that energy from your root chakra right down through your legs, through your feet. Don't cross your ankles. Don't cross your legs. That crosses the energy. You want to keep parallel. Shoot that energy right down to your knees and to your feet. You're right. This isn't in the book. So that's how you're going to connect. And the root chakra is called the first chakra. Number one. And it's located in the tailbone. That's why it's important for us to sit up straight. When we're sitting all slouched over and everything, your energy is getting blocked. And when you have strong abs and a strong back, and you just concentrate on keeping your root chakra, your tailbone anchored in alignment, then you will find that your energy increases from that. And have a good chair, really. It's worth investing in a good chair. I have a core chair. It's um, designed out of Toronto. It's like based on the ball and it's also, um, but it's cushy, it's nice. So you may want to, if you're interested, I'll introduce you to the president of the company. You'll get a little discount. And the element in the root chakra is the earth. And it's associated with physical presence. So you'll often see people say, power pose, put your feet like this, your hands on your hip. That's what it is. It's that physical presence that you want to have when you walk into a space. When you want to project that, remember we talked yesterday, make your energy big, make your energy small. Up to you to decide what size energy you're projecting. You don't always want to walk into the room as the most powerful person there. It's just like if you're the smartest one among your friends, you need new friends so that you can grow and aspire. Okay, so that's number one is the root chakra. Page 151 in the book. The second, and it's red. Yes, I said that. The second chakra is the sacral chakra. So it's two fingers below your navel. You got that? Because we all have a navel. And the color is orange. And the element is water. And it's involving your emotions. And as we go around the wheel, you'll say that see that emotions and water always go together. We cry, tears, emotion. We get that feeling. And then when you have that gut instinct, that's where it is. It's in that second chakra. That sexuality, that drive, that's where our reproductive organs are. That's where your womb is. That's where your ovaries are as women. And, and even for men, they have womb space in the same place. It came from a womb. And just two fingers, like I said, below your navel. Your navel's here. Two fingers below. And if you find that you can't get grounded, a really good technique is to find that spot and just tap it. You can do that right now. Call the chi and feel the difference. It just calms it right down. And it's something that I have done so many times before getting on stage. It's very discreet, nobody knows that I am grounding and centering myself to my chi. How's that for tricky? Or if you're going anywhere, doing anything, meeting anyone right now on this call. And uh, I, I mentioned the water element. So number three is the solar plexus. It's the upper abdomen. And that one is yellow. And the element for that is fire. So when you have heartburn, that's where it is. That's that fiery feeling that you have there. Or when you talk about they've got fire in their belly or get fire in your belly. We're talking about the solar plexus 
the third chakra. And it's about that power, that vitality. You know, when you watch uh, people lifting weights at the Olympics, they'll tuck that in. And then you have that power, that vitality. Ah, uh, thank you, Ted. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, so you want to have that power in there. And when you lift your weights, I hope you're all lifting weights because it builds bone density. It's good for you and strong bones keep us young. Yeah, that's another chapter in the book. So when you're lifting weights, you want to get your feet firmly planted, connect your root chakra, get your tailbone, your whole spine aligned, and then you want to tuck that solar plexus, make it strong with your knees are bent and you're able to lift more weight. Oh, and put a smile on your face. Studies prove you can lift more weights if you're smiling and if you listen to classical music. Yep, research. Research has been done on that. I love the research. Oh, number four is your heart chakra. And of course, it's in the heart chest area. And the color for that is green. And it's air. Not surprising, it's in your lung region. And it's all about love. It's associated with love. Valentine's Day, love, all the heart emojis. It's all right there. And the color is green. So think of how great you feel when you're lying in the green grass or you're seeing the beautiful green trees or how green is just such a rich, lush color. And it's the color of your heart chakra. Number five is your throat. And your throat chakra is blue. It's associated with sound. You can feel the vibration of your throat chakra as you're speaking. You can feel it. Mm, you can feel it in there. And that is all about communication. So what happens if you're trying to tell somebody something really emotional, sharing a story, and all of a sudden you're... <coughs> and you're choking all over the place. Is that because you don't want to say it or you're having trouble saying it? I always think of it when I have a cold or sore throat. It's like, okay, what have I not been saying? What have I been saying too much of? So you want to really think about when you have those throat issues, what's that all about? Sometimes it's that we're choking our own voice and we want to say something and we're not letting it out. So you'll get that tickle in your throat. You need to think about your throat chakra and how it helps you to communicate. Now your next chakra is number six and I'm only going through seven. There are eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're not going there today. Number three is the third eye, right here, right between your eyes, your eyebrow, just a little bit above your brow line, depending on where your brows are. And the color for that is indigo, which is different than the blue. It's a different shade. And that's all about intuition. So when you want to tap into your intuition, see the color indigo. When they talk about the indigo children, it's because they have very strong, powerful intuition, indigo. And that's what it's associated with. So if you want to highlight your intuition, you can even massage it. And when we talk about the direction and the spin of each of the chakras, we're going to tell you about that. Which way does that chakra spin so you can get it spinning faster and faster? Now remember, your root chakra is the slowest moving. Now you're getting up some speed up here with your intuition that you can start pulling in the miracles and the magic. And it happens. I've had so many miracles happen to me and I know so many people that have had miracles and magic happen. You need to know what you want. That's that third eye insight. And you'll see a lot of pictures where it's in there, the third eye, the eye of Isis in Egypt, all related to the third eye. Your next chakra is your crown chakra. It's at the very top of the head and it's violet. 
It's about understanding. Now, I wonder if that's associated with people named Violet. Violet, if you're watching this, hmm, you have deep understanding, my friend. So it's all about understanding. That's the element and that's what it's associated with. It's the top of your head. And sometimes you feel when you're learning something that you want to just open the top of your head and let the understanding pour into you. So that is the way I think of the chakras. And when I meditate on the chakras, I always start at the tailbone and I work my way up and I breathe the energy in the positive energy and I exhale the chakras the the uh, negative associations that may be associated with the chakras and sometimes they sneak in there do you want to create your own meditation your own understanding of the chakras or you can use mine they are on page 152 and 153 of my book I even have some sounds in there that go with it and you can uh, get the book at Amazon right now just keep looking at the photo that you saw draw your own images of your chakras these first seven chakras that's what we're looking at so you want to keep the colors in mind and uh, how to use your this information in day to day yes there will be a full workshop. Oh, you lost your voice in 2016 for a month. And so she, I'm getting some messages here where she said, I lost my voice in 2016 for a month. Had to see a specialist and I needed to be quiet. Yes, that's what happens. It's a message from your throat chakra. So in those cases, wear the color blue. Wear the color blue. And that will help your throat chakra to better be able to express your voice. There have been studies done on TED speakers. So if you're planning to be on the TED stage, wear the color blue. It gets a better reception and more rewatches. How about that? So I'm so glad you love this mini session and how to use this information. Be aware of the different colors as you just for now, just call in the colors. So you just, and touch your body, you know, red, orange, yellow, just follow the rainbow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And when you meditate dip, deeply, you will see the violet light. Let me know how it goes. Drop your comments and I will see you tomorrow. We are talking about, what are we talking about tomorrow? Hmm, that's tricky. Just a second, I gotta find the post. Anyway, I'm gonna put the post on what it is because I had a list of so many topics, I can't remember what I was covering. This is what, just bear with me here. Ah, the lineup. Ah, Tuesday is chakras, tomorrow it's grounding your energy. Now we talked about that a little bit but we're going to really get into grounding your energy. And you can see how this is progressing. I couldn't teach you this till I taught you the energy. I can't teach you about grounding until you know about this. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow, 11 a.m. right here. And it's on my YouTube channel. Go over to the YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.